Good morning, good morning. Happy Monday morning. Happy love day to you all. Hey, Harpy Troy. Hey, Harpy Andrea. Hey, Harpy Juanita. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Harpy Tisha. Hey, happy Valentine's Day to you too. Happy love day, everybody. Heartbeat Nation, happy love day. Hey, Heartbeat Elaine and Heartbeat Donald, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Eva. Hey, Heartbeat Carolyn, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you guys. Happy Monday. It's a brand new week. It's a brand new day. New grace, new mercy, new favor falling on us that we've never seen before. Hey, Heartbeat Eunice, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Aaliyah, Heartbeat Yvette, good morning. Good morning to you. Hey, Heartbeat Val, good morning. Got faithful creations in the house this morning. Good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Sean. Good morning, good morning, and once again, happy love day. Hey, Heartbeat Doris, I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts this morning. And today, your daily dosage is don't believe the lie. Don't believe the lie. Know that it's always been God's will and his purpose to heal you. It's always been his will that you be made whole. So don't believe the lie. So on this love day, I need you to switch your brain. You know, we have received bad diagnosis. We have received bad emotions because somebody said it to us. But I want you to know today that that is not God's will for your life. It is not God's will for you to be sad. It is not God's will for you to be depressed. It is not God's will for you to be heartbroken. It is not God's will for you to allow any sickness or disease to invade your body and break your system down. That is not God's will. And so today and tomorrow, I'm going to be giving you um, receipts. I'm going to give you some knowledge. I'm going to give you some understanding so that you can switch your brain. So when those type of emotions, those type of sickness and diseases try to invade your body and take up residence, that you will notice it when it knocks on the door. You know, when somebody comes to our house, if it's somebody that we don't know or someone we do not want to enter, we don't open the door. We act as if we aren't home, right? And so you have to do the same thing for your spiritual life, for your emotional life, for your mental life, and for your physical body. You've got to say, I'm not answering that. I'm not receiving that. And so this morning, I want you to know, don't believe the lie that the world has told you. Don't believe the lie that Satan has told you. You've got to now receive the knowledge of God so that you can begin starting today, living a better life. See, when you know something, you can do do something about it. You're responsible for what you know. And so today you've been journeying with me on this journey of wholeness of God wants me whole. And I want you to really know that you have scripture to back up that God truly wants you whole. He wants you intact. He wants you in your right mind and he wants you happy. Amen. So let's look at third John two. Third John 2 says this, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health, even as my soul prospers. And so when I began to look at this scripture, God began to give me new revelation for it. You know, it starts off, it says, be loved. And so you've got to see be loved as two words, be loved as if it's a commandment, as if God is telling you, be loved. Like this is all I know, be loved, which means I don't accept anything else. If it isn't love, I don't take it. It is a command. He's saying, be love. I wish above all things that thou may prosper. Are you getting this? He's saying, receive it. This is a command that I'm giving to you, that this is the will of God for your life. He says, be loved, receive love, receive that I wish above all things that you would prosper, which means you are supposed to be blessed. That means that you're not supposed to be in lack. That means that you're not supposed to have anything that doesn't go along 
along with the word of God. So he's saying this is a command. The command is to be loved. Receive the love that I am giving to you on this day. I know you may have been hurt. I know you may have been sick, but I'm telling you that if you receive my love on this day, your life can turn around. So it says that thou may prosper and be in health even as my soul prospers. So be loved, be successful, be whole where there's nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing lacking, knowing that it is God's will for you to be made whole. It is God's will for you to be prosperous. Listen, you've got to know this, that if something doesn't look like, it doesn't smell like, it doesn't taste like, you know, that, you know, that's not love and that you've got to run away from it. If it, I'm going to say it again, if it doesn't look like, smell like, taste like, feel like 3 John 2, which is a commandment to be loved, you've got to flee. You've got to pick up your stuff and run because that is not the will of God for your life. So let's look at it again. It says, as my soul prospers, what is my soul? My soul is my mind, my thinker, my will, my chooser. It's those crazy things called emotions. Amen. And so know this, we are a three-part being. We're made up of the spirit that communes with God. We're made up of a soul, which is what I just said, your mind, your will, your thinker, your chooser, it's your emotions. And then you're made up of the body, the flesh, the physical man that wants to control your life. So get it, right? He said that your soul prospers, even as your soul prospers, which means what? My emotions. So get this. I'm not saying that bad things won't happen. I'm not saying that things won't happen that will cause your mood to change. But what God is saying is, okay, it happened, but now you got to move. You can't stay there because the will of God for your life is that your soul prospers, which means your emotions. Your emotions are supposed to prosper, which means I'm not supposed to sta be stagnated. I'm not supposed to stay sad. I'm not supposed to stay depressed. It says, as my soul prospers. Prosper means accelerate. Prosper means to move forward. Prosper means to go to the next level. So which means what? I can't stay sad. To go to the next level from sad will be happy, right? Will be joyful. And so it says, even as my soul prospers. So I want you to say this right now. Say, I don't believe the lie. God wants me whole. Wherever you are right now, say it. I don't believe the lie. God wants me whole. So listen, imagine this. This is what it looks like when we stay in a stagnated position. It's like you being on an emotional roller coaster. You know, when we were younger, some of us still like the amusement parks now. And we would get on um, those roller coasters like the Raviel and um, what, what are some more of them back at um, King's Dominion? Um, we would get on those... Um, those those roller coasters and as soon as we got off you know it was like a high you run around and you get back in line well that's what it looks like when you don't take what God is saying when you don't receive the command it's as if you're staying on an emotional roller coaster you get off and you get right back in line for more heartbreak you get right back in line for more turmoil you get right back in line for more drama in your life but today is the day that you get off the emotional roller coaster and you take the prosperity of your soul where you don't stay in that same condition. See, you've got to understand that when you stay on an emotional roller coaster, that your emotions are in charge of you and you're supposed to be in charge of your emotions. When you're not in charge of your emotions, it's as if you have gotten into a, a bag and the bag has been zipped up and the emotions are now carrying you. But I want you on this morning to break out of that bag, unzipping that bag and and now you carry the bag and you tell your emotions, I'm in control because I don't believe the lie. God wants me whole. Glory to God. He wants me prospering in all things. And so when I begin to do this, when I begin to understand who I am, the spirit man now 
takes over and the spirit man now commands the soul to bless the Lord. So now I'm giving God a praise. Lord, I thank you, God, that I'm not what I used to be. Lord, I thank you that I'm headed to where you would have me to be. Lord, I thank you that there's no residue of what I've been through. Lord, I thank you, God, that those things didn't take me out. God, I thank you that I no longer have self, no low self-esteem, but I'm confident in you that I'm made in your image. Lord, I thank you, God, that the drugs, the alcohol, the things that I turned to instead of you, that it didn't take me out. Lord, I thank you that when I turned to sex to make me feel better, that I didn't get up with no disease that I didn't lay down with. God, I thank you for keeping me. See, when I begin to bless the Lord, when I command my soul, notice I said when I command my soul to bless the Lord, see, I can't even think about all of the drama. It's gone. Why? Because I'm now praising my Jesus. I've commanded my soul to bless the Lord, which what? Causes my mind, my will, my choosing, my thinker to prosper. It goes back to 3 John 2. Amen. Let me keep moving. I'm running out of time here. So, so now that I know this, let's look at Psalm 147, 3, which is the foundation scripture for God wants me whole. It says he heals the brokenhearted and he binds up their wounds. What does that mean? Heals mean to make healthy, to make whole, to make sound, to free from ailment, to ease or to relieve emotional stress. I love this definition. To make well again, to patch up or correct. This is a good one. To restore to original purity. So get this. He said he heals, which means the brokenhearted. He patches up or corrects. Get that he restores to original purity the brokenhearted then it says he binds up their wounds that's to tie or to fasten tightly wrap securely with a rope so it's as if God is taking that thing that emotional roller coaster that you've been on because you've gotten off of it it's like he's taking that thing he's tying it in a knot that cannot be untied which means it'll never come back to you again because he's binding up that wound, sealing it up. It said the definition says to make well again. So you'll no longer be emotionally unsure. You'll no longer be emotionally unstable. You'll no longer be depressed. Those negative characteristics that go with your emotions have got to go because he says I'm binding up those wounds. He says I'm healing all of those things that has broken your heart. Listen, I'm going to have to go over today because I got to get this out. Next one is first. First Thessalonians 5, 23 to 24. I hope I'm not holding you too long. It says this. May God himself, the God who makes everything holy and whole, make you holy and whole. Put you together, spirit, soul, and body, and keep you fit for the coming of our master, Jesus Christ. It says this. The one who called you is completely dependable. If he said he'll do it, he'll do it. Say, I don't believe the lie. God wants me whole. Now get this. This scripture says that God himself, the one who is holy is whole. He gonna come to you and make you holy and whole. Which means this, heartbeat doors. He's gonna take everything that's ailing you. He's gonna make you like him, holy and whole. He gonna put you back together. Listen, heartbeat Eva, he's going to put you back together. Heartbeat Troy, he's going to put you back together, which means anything that's broken, anything that doesn't look like him, anything that's been causing you stress, anything that's been causing you to be unstable emotionally, he says, heartbeat Tisha, heartbeat Aaliyah, he said, I'm coming on my own, me, myself. I'm not sending nobody else to do it. I'm not going to send Gabriel down, the angel to do it. I'm not going to send send a pastor down. He said, I'm going to do it myself. God himself. Do you see the love that God has for you? He says, God himself is going to make you holy and whole. Glory to God. Which means what? If he's going to make you holy and whole, he's getting ready to take a brush and he's getting ready to scrub off all the filth. He's getting ready to scrub off all the unrighteousness. He's getting ready to scrub off anything that doesn't resemble holiness. And he said, He's going to make you holy and whole. He says, I'm going to put you together myself. He said, because.
because I got a vision. I got a plan for you. The plan that I have for you is 3 John 2, that you may prosper in all things, even your soul. He says, I'm getting ready to come and put you back together. So all those broken pieces, all those broken fragments in your life, don't worry about it because me, God, myself, he said God himself. I love it when he lets us know, like I'm not sending anybody else. I'm going to do this thing. God himself going to put you back together and make you holy and whole. So listen, you cannot believe the lie. You cannot believe the lie. I know that's how we were brought up. I know that's what somebody told you. I know that's what life has shown you. But you've got to, on today, switch your brain and say, I don't believe the lie. God wants me whole. God wants me to prosper. Say it wherever you are. Say, I don't believe the lie. You know, just like you received lies, just like when somebody tells you something, you automatically, you take it. Well, this morning, I need you to automatically take what I'm saying. You know, over in Hebrews 4.12, it says that they all heard the word, but it says everybody didn't get what it said because some of them didn't mix it with faith. Now, I need you to, to release your faith right now. I don't know what you're going through, but God knows what you're going through. And I need you to release your faith right now. And I need you to take the word of God that you're hearing. And I need something on the inside of you to raise up this morning and say, I knew I wasn't supposed to be broken. I knew that God loved me. I knew he was going to send the word for me. I need you to mix this word that you're hearing this morning with faith and know that God is about to change your situation. The word says that when I see the word, when I hear the word, that when I understand the word, that I can be transformed into the word, which means what? I changed. That goes back to what the year of, of, of this ministry is. It's the year of transition and repositioning, meaning what? God is transitioning you through this thing that you are going through so that he can reposition you to where he would have you. You've got to get this on this morning that I don't believe the lie. I know that my God loves me. I know that my God wants me whole. Oh, glory to God. Numbers 23, 19. And like I said, I know I've gone over this morning, but you have got to get this this day. Numbers um, 23, 19 says this. God is not like people. He tells no lies. He is not like humans. Thank you, Jesus. He doesn't change his mind. When he says something, he does it. When he makes a promise, glory to God, he keeps it. And so he's told us in 3 John 2, he says, Beloved, above all things, I wish that you may prosper even as your soul prospers. What is this saying? That this is the word that he said, that he's not going to change his mind. He's not like people who have let you down. He's not like man who has broken your heart. He says, I'm not going to change my mind. When I release the word that I wanted you to prosper, that's what I meant. He says, so when I tell you that you're healed, watch me heal you. When I tell you that you're free, watch me free you. You. When I tell you that you'll be happy all the days of your life, watch me change your situation. Watch me do the great exchange. Watch me give you beauty for your ashes. Watch me give you healing for your sickness. Watch me give you prosperity for your poverty. He says, I'm not a man that I would lie. Don't believe the lies. If I didn't say it, don't you receive it. If I didn't tell you that, don't you take that. He says, Listen to what I say. Glory to God. I said that you're healed. I said that you're happy. I said that you're whole. Come on, you, you got to say this with me. Say, I don't believe the lie. It doesn't matter what you believe before you got on this live stream. This morning, make the declaration that I don't believe the lie. That God wants me whole on this morning. When we get off this live stream, wherever you are, I need you to worship. I need you to praise God like you've never praised him before. I need you to go in prayer. I need you to lift him up because God is doing the magnificent 
listen, for the house of God right now, for the believers, for the kingdom of God, there is a shift taking place and God is about to rearrange your life. He's about to move everything out of the way that is stopping you from walking in his will. But you have got to make a conscious decision, Heartbeat Nation, on this morning that I do not believe the lie, that I know that God wants me whole. I know that God wants me healed. And now you've got to walk in the prophetic word of be loved above all things. I wish that thou may prosper and be in health. Glory to God. Well, listen, I've been out of time. That is your daily dosage. I think y'all got two dosages in one on today, but that is your daily dosage for today. Don't believe the lie. God wants you whole. If you have not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, I don't even know why. I need you to go over there and subscribe to the YouTube channel that you might get all of your dosages. They're there in one place. These are dosages that have no negative side effects if you overdose on them. Follow me on all social media platforms. God wants me whole. Visit the website, godwantsmewhole.org. If you're out and about today, tune in to WHUR 96.3. I'll be on there giving inspirational moments all throughout the day. You know how we close this thing out. Say, God wants me whole and I'm getting whole by the minute. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. I love you guys a bunch. I'll be right back here tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. and we're going to pick this topic up of don't believe the lie. Have a spec while amazing day on today. Again, happy love day. Love yourself. Love the people around you. Spread the love of Jesus. Let everybody know what you know, that God wants you whole. I'll see you in the morning.